Good morning. I slept so late. I was trying to get up at 6.30 and it's 8 o'clock. Whoops. Let's chat while I jade roll for a second. I have these Peter Thomas Roth eye patches on. They're okay. I honestly don't know if they're worth the price. Like, they're kind of dry. I like the texture, but the, um, there's not a lot of, like, product on it. And I've even been storing it <clears throat> upside down in my fridge so that whatever product is in here will, like, really get into the pads. I don't know. Don't know about these, but I'm just jade rolling in some rosehip oil. You guys have seen all of my like morning beauty stuff that I do in my beauty regimens video, so go check that out if you want to know exactly like what my steps are. But mostly I just wanted to chat and do like bring you along with me for a day. I have a very boring regular day ahead of me, which I thought would be perfect for this because I just want to show you like a really normal day in my life. The only thing that's not normal that's going on right now is that my hubby's out of town. I'm so sad about that. He's on a business trip and I wasn't able to go this time. I was just so tired last night, like I took a bath. Well, I went to acupuncture and then yoga. <laughs> so I was like zenned out and then I came home and I took a bath, an Epsom salt bath, and then I just like PTFO'd and I slept all the way through my alarm until eight, so. Whoopsie. Um, so now I'm just making my little morning beauty water and I'm gonna go sit down and meditate, which I've been doing in the mornings. I really, really like doing it. Um, first thing, it just feels like it really clears my head. Um, I'll show you a little bit of how I do it. So I just like to kind of set a chill vibe. I'm going to light this incense. It's the Nag Champa scent that they burn in like yoga studios and it's so relaxing. I got this cute little incense holder on Amazon. I will link it if you're interested. Then I have this candle. I'm not Catholic or really religious at all, but this I just thought was really cute. It's a guardian angel candle. And to me, it kind of looks like a mom and her baby. So I just thought it was sweet and I like to light this. And these candles are good. I'm sure they're designed this way on purpose that you don't have to burn them for very long because they're not that like wide across, but then they last forever because they're so tall. Um, and then this is a really cute little like rose quartz candle holder also from Amazon. And I have a Nag Champa scented tea light in there. And then this is the app that I like to use. It's called Headspace. And it's like $12 a month or something for a membership. And I had the membership for a little while. And then I was like, this is expensive. This is like more than I spend on Spotify. So um, now I just have the free membership. And that there's only a few meditations that you can do with the free mem membership. But I kind of find I don't need much. Like just a guided 10 minute meditation is perfect for me just to kind of help me clear my head. And then after that, I'll usually meditate just using my mala for like 10 more minutes and start my day like really, really peaceful. Good morning, doggies. Are you the sweetest of doggies? Good morning. Good morning. Aw, sweet babies. Just doing my morning skincare. This is a new step. I've been using the Dr. Dennis Gross Alpha Beta Ultra Gentle Daily Peel. I went for the ultra gentle one because I do have sensitive skin, but this stuff is awesome. It's like two little pouches and the first one exfoliates. So I guess this has like the um, AHA acids and stuff in it. And I just kind of got it in my mouth. <laughs> Um, but basically you just wipe this pad on your face until the pad is like dry. Well, it says to do it until it's dry. The pad never really feels dry to me, so I don't know. I just do it for a little while. <laughs> but it does instantly brighten your skin. I've been feeling so much brighter, so much more um, like smooth and glowy since I've been doing this. And I woke up, like, as you can see, just really puffy and um, 
not cute. <laughs> so I need all the help I can get today. Okay, so the pad's not dry, but it's not like wet anymore. So now, I'll wait two minutes. And once I'm done with this one, I'll just let that soak in for a couple minutes and then move on with my normal morning skincare, which is all in my beauty regimens video too. So you can check it out. I just did my skincare and I just put on um, a little bit of beauty balm. This is the Dr. Jart one. And it also has SPF 45. <laughs> and I just threw it. Um, and then I also put on this Neutrogena Healthy Lengths Mascara. I, you know, I used to have eyelash extensions and so I hate not being able to see my eyelashes, even though I'm literally just going to walk the dogs and then go to the gym right now. Um, I want to have something, I like to have something on my eyelashes in the morning, but then as soon as I get home, I like wash it off and do my full makeup for the day. So I picked this Healthy Lynx Mascara because it has really good ingredients. It has like olive oil and vitamin E, I think. Um, and I feel like it just kind of gives me some hydration along with a little bit of like help. <laughs> it's another beautiful day. Yes, it is, huh? Taking the doggies to the park because you're good doggies. This is, I have an espresso machine. This is how I store the pods. I highly recommend this thing. It's like <clears throat> so organized and it's kind of fun. It reminds me of the Connect Four. But as you can see, I have pretty much just one flavor. I forget what it's even called, but it's the decaf. It's the, oops, sorry. It's Vivalto Longo, and it's decaf because caffeine and I do not get along at all. Like, especially in coffee, it really screws me up. Like, makes my heart race, makes me feel, like, weak and shaky. It's pathetic. Like, I feel like I'm missing out. The rest of the world's so obsessed with caffeine, and I always have to have my coffee decaf because I love the flavor of coffee, but the caffeine really messes with me like a soda doesn't mess with me as much but obviously there's way more caffeine in coffee than anything else like I'm also fine with tea I just can't do caffeinated coffee anyway I make like a bulletproof type coffee everybody seems to have a slightly different recipe mine is in no way the approved um, coffee by the way how cute is my mug matching with this little mini mug <laughs> Those are from the Starbucks in Disneyland. Okay, so the way I do it is I brew a bunch of coffee, put it in my blender. I actually kind of made too much. Then I add a splash of the Brain Octane Oil. The idea behind this Bulletproof Coffee is that this um, works with the caffeine to give you like super energy, but like I said, I don't do caffeinated coffee. There is still some caffeine in decaf coffee, so I just like to hope that this still gives me a little boost um, with whatever trace of caffeine I'm having. I'll take what I can get, you know? Then I like to add a scoop of collagen to help boost my skin, hair, nails, get a little protein. You cannot taste it at all. So I throw one scoop in there. Then lastly, I add a little bit of creamer. This is the Organic Valley Soy Creamer. It's the French vanilla flavor. It's so yummy. It's kind of a guilty pleasure. Like it does have organic cane sugar in it, but I think it's better than having dairy. It's organic, it's non-GMO, tastes delicious. So I have a little bit of that too. And then I just blend it up. And it just comes out so frothy and delicious. It's honestly, I like it more than any latte at Starbucks. So yummy and good. So I'm gonna sit down, drink this, make a to-do list, and get organized. Cause I feel so frazzled this morning. Coffee's empty. <laughs> that was fast. Just made a to-do list. I am obsessed, obsessed with this adorable to-do list notepad I got. It's by Rifle Paper Company. Everything they make is just ugh, so perfect. How cute is this with the little ostrich? Oh my gosh. Anyway, so I just used this and I also use my favorite pens. This is the Stadler um, 
porous point pens. They're like a little felt tip, really fine point pens. I love them. I wish they would fit in my agenda, but they don't. But anyway, made my little to-do list for the day. Um, the other nice thing about these, the sheet is that I can just hole punch it and it fits perfectly in my, I mean, not perfectly, but it fits in my agenda. So I'm going to hole punch that and that way I can have it with me all day. Okay. It's, it's 11.07. You can't see that. <laughs> it's 11.07 and I'm sitting down to breakfast. So I got the house clean. I feel a million percent better. This is breakfast. It's a big, it actually looks like a really big bowl. Like maybe I shouldn't eat this much right before the gym. But anyway, it's a big bowl of gluten-free oatmeal with almond milk, peaches, blueberries, and another scoop of collagen. And I made it too hot. By the way, I'm a monster and I like my oatmeal really soupy. Like this isn't soupy enough. Like I like it like cereal. <laughs> uh, but anyway, this is my breakfast. I'm, these are my supplements for the day. I'm gonna do a whole video on supplements. I am very, very, very passionate about this pill case that I use. It's so convenient. As you can see, I just detached like today's little case. This side is like morning, this side is night. It's so convenient. You can like pop the pills in from the top or open it and take them out. I just love this thing. I'll link it below. I'm going to do a whole video on my supplements. Suffice to say, I'm about to take these with breakfast. I'm also going to take a probiotic. So, so important. I'm going to start hydrating. How cute is this water bottle? I love it. It's the perfect shade of pink. Kind of clashes with my hat, but that's okay. <laughs> um, but it's that beautiful like baby pink color I love. This is a 40 ounce bottle. I'll link it down below if you're interested. It keeps the water cold so well. Like the other day I went to work out at the park and I had this in my car with like ice and water in it. And when I got back in the car, it was like too hot to touch. But the water inside was freezing cold. The ice was not melted. It was amazing. Anyway, I have two of these and they're 40 ounces each. So that's 80 ounces. So every night I fill up both of them for the next day. And that way, like, even if nothing, if nothing else, if I do nothing else, but just drink these two water bottles, I got 80 ounces of water. As you know, like 64 ounces has been the recommendation forever. But um, from what I understand, you should actually be drinking way more than that. I would love to get up to a gallon a day to like really flush out my skin and everything. So I think I might get a third bottle because that would be about a gallon of water a day. So anyway, and then I have this little straw lid I'm obsessed with. It's so cute. <sighs> so my oatmeal's too hot to eat. I'm kind of on almost like a liquid diet right now because I'm having some teeth issues. Thus why I'm having oatmeal. I mean, not really. I have oatmeal all the time. I love oatmeal. <laughs> so it's not a big sacrifice. But also while my husband's out of town, I don't feel the need to go all out with like my cooking. So this is sort of a what I eat in a day video too, because I just want to show you everything I do all day, all the way to bedtime. And obviously you're going to see what I eat in that process. And so sorry in advance, the meals are going to be kind of boring like this one. <laughs> but it's good. You're my music, but you tear me to pieces So oh, where does it come from? A scene that keeps playing on repeat Ignores the rule of thumb So I'm getting ready now. I'm gonna film some YouTube for you guys and then I'll check back in. Probably have some lunch in a little bit. Okay, I'm taking a break from filming. I'm about to make a smoothie. I'm going to make a frozen hot chocolate smoothie with a healthy twist of course but i figure that'll be easy on my dental situation so first i'm going to put in about a cup of almond milk maybe a little more this is um the unsweetened vanilla one by whole foods is my favorite one if i'm not going to make it from scratch which i didn't have time this week next i'm going to put in some frozen cherries these are so so good for you natural pain reliever and I find they really add to the chocolatey flavor in this smoothie. I'm gonna put in about a half a cup. Dang, that was a lot. Mm, I'll take at least one back out. <laughs> yeah, it's okay, why not? The more the merrier. Now I'm gonna put in some frozen blueberries. Same situation, I feel like they really add to the flavor. 
Now, something that doesn't add to the flavor is spinach. I swear you cannot taste it, so put a bunch of spinach in all my smoothies. And let's see what else. I'm gonna put in this vegan chocolate protein powder, this whole, this whole container, which has a good amount of protein in it. And I'm gonna put about a tablespoon of raw cocoa powder. So this is just natural cacao and that'll really boost the chocolate flavor as well. And then I'll blend it up. I'm going to top it off with these mini marshmallows. These are my favorite, they're from Whole Foods. They're actually made with fish gelatin, which is good because I'm pescatarian. Um, and they're so cute, it's like the cutest packaging. So just to complete the frozen hot, oh, oh, frozen hot chocolate theme, top it with a few of those and make it super decadent and yummy. Stick a smoothie straw in there. Mm -mm -mm. That's gonna be good. And I'm also gonna take another probiotic and my second set of pills, vitamins for the day. Mm. So good, you guys. You should really make this smoothie, it's delish. And we just got back from yet another walk. So they know what that means. Do -do -do. It's time for treats. These are our favorite right now. It's cool because it supports canines for vets, which is a really cool concept. And they're like soft treats. So they seem to like those better than the hard treats. Easy catch. <gasps> he caught it. Oh my gosh. I'm so glad that was on film. He's like never done that before. <laughs> Good girl. Anyway, I'm craving sushi. So I'm just making like kind of a sushi style bowl. I have, I made some sushi style rice, some avocado. I chopped up a pineapple. I'm going to sprinkle on the sesame seed seasoning. And this is some coconut aminos teriyaki sauce. There's no soy, so it's gluten free. Just a little dab will do ya. Whoa. Dang, it comes out of there so fast. Um, and then just a little bit of sriracha. And that will be my little sushi inspired snack. And then I also have a LaCroix coconut flavor sparkling water. But I'm pretty much on schedule. Like according to that little to-do list I made, I finished filming for you guys and I finished, I'm just about finished with my work. I have a little bit left. Sorry I didn't film that, but it's like kind of boring. It's just me on my laptop the whole time. <laughs> so you can imagine. Um, I'm not really hungry for dinner yet because I had that sushi bowl. Um, so I'll probably hold off on dinner for a little bit. The house is like trashed again somehow from filming and working and just throwing stuff everywhere and not tidying up as I go. I've been like so off today. So I'm gonna tidy up the whole house yet again and then I'll check back in with you guys, probably make some dinner in a little bit, take the mutts out for one last jaunt in a few hours. And then I still wanna watch that documentary tonight and take a kick-ass bubble bath. I've got dinner heating up. It's gonna be some super yummy homemade vegetarian chili once it defrosts and cooks up. Um, I used to think I didn't like soup and then I realized I just don't like canned soup. So I've been discovering the joy of homemade soup lately and it's so good. I was showing you guys on Instagram, this is what I do. I make a huge batch of soup and then I put it in smaller portions in a Ziploc bag and I like lay it flat to freeze. Then once it freezes, it's basically like the size and shape of a book. And so I store it in the freezer upright like this, like books, and it just works so well. So I have some veggie soup, some chili, and the night before I just take this and I put it in the fridge to get defrosted most of the way. It gets to like this state. And then I just warm it up the rest of the way on the stove and it's delish. On the side, for a little extra protein, I'm gonna have one of these gluten-free mushroom veggie burgers, delicious, by Dr. Prager's, Prager's. <laughs> and then these chips, these are gluten-free coconut flour tortilla chips. They are so good. I like them more than the Ciete chips everybody's obsessed with, but they're pretty hard. Like I said, I'm gonna try not to be crunching too much. So I think I might have to like soak them in the soup to be able to eat them with my tooth situation. But those are the ingredients. Um, other than the gum, there's nothing bad in there. So a few of these on the side and one of these and I cannot wait to just chillax for a minute. 
Dinner is served. I wish you guys could smell this. It smells so good. It's just a really simple meal. If my hubby was home, I would have like gotten more all out. And also I would not be eating in front of the TV. I do not recommend this, but I just really feel like vegging after going nonstop all day. And I still have more on my to-do list from this morning. So I'm just gonna watch the Hallmark Channel once this commercial's over. They're doing the Christmas movies. <laughs> I love those. I've been like binging on those while my hubby's been out of town. They're so cheesy and delicious. Oh, let's see, it's coming back. Oh, it's gonna be a good one. You can already tell. He's on his phone, he's distracted. Oh, helping her with car problems. There's gonna be a miracle, Santa's gonna come. <laughs> okay, anyway, I'm definitely just gonna chill for a little bit. I got this little guy here to keep me company because he loves the Hallmark Channel. You Don't you, boy? Yeah, you do. You busted. You busted, everybody knows it. <laughs> he makes the cutest little zombie noises. Okay, time to see what this guy is gonna do. Hey guys, I'm just chilling. Had my dinner, I'm cuddled up here on the couch with the sweet doggies, they're so sweet. And I'm editing some YouTube for you. I just got this really scary alert on my phone. Um, emergency alert, strong winds overnight, creating extreme fire danger. Stay alert and listen to authorities. Yikes, that's freaky. Um, it might take me a few days to get this video up, so it might be old news by then, but um, California's going through some really scary wildfires right now. And where I'm at in Los Angeles, sorry, I'm like too tired to hold my head up. Where I'm at in Los Angeles um, has been pretty safe from the fires so far. It was really smoky when I was walking the dogs earlier, but I didn't think that where I was was in, where I am is in any major danger, but now I'm kind of scared that if the fire gets really out of control overnight, because we're having these Santa Ana winds that we get, and it is so, so windy outside, and it's just making the fires out of control, especially because it's so dry here and we really need rain and it's just scary. You guys, this bath setup is next level. I'm so excited. I have my fresh roses, my rose petals, my rose kombucha, my rose candle. All these delightful little rose inspired treats. These are from Lush. They all smell so good. I have this rose stem cell mask. I can't wait to try. I was gonna do a sheet mask, but with all the smoke in the air, I feel like this is really going to help repair my skin better. It's got um, stem cells from roses. That's an exfoliant, a rose scented exfoliant from Ulta. I have some lotion for afterward and a lip mask. So I am like so set. I'm gonna put on the Beauty and the Beast movie and I'm going to relax. I'm so happy. Hi right, guys, it's like after midnight now. I'm all cozy in bed with my fluffy robe. Um, I have my rose stem cell face mask on. My skin's a little bit red from the hot bath. Um, and honestly, probably the irritation from all the smoke in the air, so. It's been kind of a weird day, but it's been really fun to bring you guys along with me. I think I'm definitely going to do another one of these on a more normal day when the hubby's in town, when I'm not so like far thrown off my schedule, and hopefully when all of Los Angeles is not on fire. <sighs> but thank you for sticking with me today. It was really fun to share it with you guys. Um, let me know if you enjoyed this or not. And as always, please subscribe and stick around so we can have more fun um i'm gonna go to sleep now i've got the hallmark channel playing with like the tv on the sleep timer i think it's so cozy to fall asleep with the tv on tonight is just kind of soothing i also have the dishwasher running does anybody else think the sound of the dishwasher is like so comforting i just love it I, it's like it's like a mom's home kind of sound you know it means like it's just cozy i don't know so, all is well in my little world, I guess.
Can't wait to get my hubby back tomorrow. It's gonna be so nice. Um, anyway, good night, you guys. Hope you're all having a wonderful night or day whenever you're watching. And thank you for joining me. Good night.